What's going on guys? Snappy here today and I'm going to be bringing you a brand new tutorial. Oh my god, it's my first tutorial in ages and I thought I'd make you this sick little tutorial on how to make this insane 2D text that I made. I was uh, mucking around with some things I haven't done in a while and I came across with this and kind of, yeah, this whole logo kind of thing. Uh, the banner for my YouTube. But yeah, let's get straight on into it. So, new canvas, new... Um, doesn't really matter what your dimensions are. Right, let's do 128720. Do do do. So let's start that up. All right, there you go. So I'm just gonna quickly fill in the background. Um, do do do. Maybe a nice grey. I'll do. It stands out quite nice. And so let's go and get your text and find a font that you'd like. Um, I can't remember what I used on that exact one. Um, I think whatever doesn't really matter as long as it looks decent. And that's the same color as my background. I don't want that. Um, so I started off with a nice, actually start off with a white. Start off with the white. That's nice. Okay. Um, so I've just made snapper. You can put your text whatever. Um. Let's hit this thing. 500 down to about 20. Mm. 50. That'll do. Okay. So, you got there your nice, your text. Nothing too special. Uh, yeah. Just align this up to the middle. Don't know why. Just because I can. Actually, why didn't I just do Control A? Uh, it's not to the middle. Whatever. Yeah. Somewhere. That'll do. Okay, stop wasting time, Snapper. What are you doing? Just bring that there. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to right click and go to blending options. Um once this loads up, blending options takes ages to load up for me, I don't know why. Even when I'm not recording, apparently. Um, so what you don't do? Go gradient overlay, outer glow, and drop shadow. Why not? Okay, so drop the drop shadow. Leave there. Yeah, don't change drop shadow. Blend mode on the outer glow to normal. Um, change that to black. No, not grey. Black. Change the size to about seven. I'll do. That's quite nice. All right, let's go to gradient overlay. And what you want to do is you want to go to the gradient, obviously, and we'll change this up a little bit. So go to color <clears throat> and what should, what color should we have? Let's have a nice yellow. Okay, so I'm going to make that a dark yellow, big dirty yellow. That's nice. Sorry, I am colour blind, I, I, yeah, I can't really tell the colour. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then go to your white, at 100, and it's colour. Let's make that a darker yellow. Mm. Yeah, that'll do, whatever. Okay. Um, so there you've got your basic text. Uh, it's nothing too special, nothing too brilliant. There, yeah. You can you can go yeah you know, in a glow whatever I don't, know, I don't care really that actually looks quite sick uh, let's normal um make that black maybe I don't know I've never really mucked around with this ooh that's quite dirty yeah and change the size down to about three that's nice I like that okay so I'm just gonna zoom in a little uh zoom in. There we go. <laughs> and what you want to do, I want to do zoom out. That's what I want to do. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to hit Control J and hit Control T. And with your right arrow, uh, right arrow key, whatever you use, I don't know what it is on Mac, so just 
Actually, no, one second. I've done something wrong. Oh, yeah, okay. Go to your bottom one, your original one. Always your bottom one. Hit Control T. And drag it to the right. So it's coming out a little bit. That's nice. And on your bottom one, hit Control J again. And go to back to your bottom one. Hit Control T. And go to the left a little bit this time. Um, that'll do. Sorry, it's been a bit rushed. Let's check what time we're doing. We're on about five minutes. That's all right. Um, I never really realise how long I'm taking until I check the time. Okay. Um, go back to your text. Hit Control J again. Back to the bottom one. Control T up a little bit, and just center that back up. Okay, that'll do. Um, back to the normal one. Hit Control J. Back to the normal one. And go. Um, Control T down. Taking a while, my bad. I'm not using the best of computers to do this on. Um. Let's check that. That looks right. That looks like that looks actually quite nice. I'm liking that. So next on to this sort sort of texture that I've got on it. Um. So what you want to do is you want to go onto the te actually no. First, what you want to do, everyone except the bot the original copy. You want to go Control Shift hold all of them. Um and drop the opacity down to about 80% so as you can see you've got that original one there sorry I just pointed at my screen for some reason so maybe about 60 and that gives that nice little background as if it's been reflected kind of effect and then with all of them hit control go to the all of them bottom one hit control shift and um, where am I looking? Okay, there's no merge layers apparently. I don't know why. Merge layers. Layer. Why? Okay. Merge layers. Control E. That's the thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay. File open and go. I've got uh, one second. Okay, there we go. I just remembered that I had an IP showing, and I didn't really want to show it to you guys. Don't know. Meh. Okay. Go to a pack that you've got, set up, and go to a texture. And what we'll do is find one that looks nice. I'm just looking for one. Um, you can choose anyone, anyone works, but you know, I'm just looking for one that'll look half decent for a video. Um yeah this looks alright, I don't really know what that is, it looks like chalk. So drag it onto your text. Um just resize that so it's you know normal size. And what you want to do is you want to hit Alt and then K and you'll show this little emblem icon and just click between the two. Okay, it's not working. Ah, okay. Go to the text. Oh dear, this is not going well. Okay, go to your text. If it decides to stop clicking, what are you doing, man? One, one second, guys. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I realised what I'd done, but you know, so let's go back. And you want to hit Alt and then K, and then just click in between the layers and the text, and that will see it creates kind of like a clipping mask. You can, I think you can right click. Yeah, you can. I'm assuming you would right click. But then you want to go onto the layer and go onto your blending modes. God, what the hell is happening to my computer? I know it's not great, but you know, whatever. Okay, hit overlay. And that brings up that nice little effect. And then you can turn down your opacity to about 60, I guess, whatever you want. 
that looks really nice and that guys is how you make a text like that um, obviously I've got color corrections you know different effects on it yeah obviously you know without the oh, one sec without the color correction it looks pretty bad but yeah that is how you make that sick 3D looking text well 2D text on Photoshop um, I do hope you like this guys I do realize it was quite long but it does look pretty sick <clears throat> so thanks for watching guys and uh, peace